Hey guys, happy Monday, even though it's not Monday because I've had to refilm the start of the vlog because I don't know what I did with the footage. Like when I went to go and import all the footage, it just said like the first clip was happy Tuesday. So I was just like, where's happy Monday's clip? But I was thinking about it before I did film a makeup video this week and I usually like to film on an empty SD card. So I'm kind of thinking that Monday's videos was on that sd card but then i don't remember changing it over anyways happy monday even though it's thursday um what did i do on monday i went to the gym this is really hard because it's like not in real time i just want to jump on and like start the vlog <laughs> because i didn't start it now i'm just trying to think what i did hopefully not too much anyways it is what it is i'm gonna let you watch the rest of the vlog now. Hey guys, sorry I haven't been vlogging much today. Not that you probably wouldn't even know, but I just had a cleaning company actually come and clean my house. I didn't mention my first incident with a cleaner. So a couple of days before mum was meant to come, when was it? Just before basically we went to Queensland, I wanted to book a cleaner, like a professional cleaner, just to like deep clean the house, like do all like the little bits that like I don't usually clean like on a weekly basis really. So I just wanted like someone to come in here and like do a proper job. And I just wanted like a nice clean house for mom basically. She is like the cleanest person I have ever met in my life. Like there's no such thing as dust in her house. So I was like, okay, I don't want her coming into my house and judging my cleaning. Even though like I'm not bad at cleaning, I keep things quite tidy and clean. Um, I don't know, I just wanted, I just wanted shit done properly before she came. Um, so I booked a cleaner. I'm not gonna mention the company, but maybe if you like DM me and you're looking for one, I might tell you not to use it just because I'd, I wouldn't want someone to have the same experience as me. Anyways, um, yeah, but I'm not going to like publicly like shame their business. I'm not about that. Um, so yeah, anyways, their reviews looked amazing online and, and it actually was a recommendation of someone that I knew. So I was like, okay, well, if they've done like a good job in someone I know's house, then surely, um, it was like probably the worst experience. So like, firstly, she was an hour late. She did call me and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I'm stuck in traffic. And I was like, oh, no worries. Like I'll just be here. So I booked her originally for four hours. So I was like guessing that she was just gonna stay back that hour that she was late. So I think she was meant to be there at, be here at nine and she got here at 10. So that means 10, 11, 12, one, two. She would have had to leave at two. So yeah, because I paid for four hours. Anyways, so she left at like 1.30 and she was like, okay, I'm done. She didn't speak to me. Not that it was like a big deal or anything. I just thought it was odd. Like she didn't really speak much. I was like, oh, I think she was like Spanish or something, but I, she could speak English um, unless she was just, I don't know, maybe stressed or something was going on at home. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so she came, she seemed fine. I like showed her around the house and like told her what I wanted cleaned and stuff like that. And she was like, yep, that's fine. Um, so yeah, she was done at 1.30. So I was like, oh, that, that was weird. Maybe she's just like finished everything. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And um, she left and then it wasn't until after that I like walked around and had a look. She didn't touch the laundry, um, didn't touch any of the skirtings, which I asked for because that's what I wanted. Um, what else didn't she do? Oh, she didn't like mop my dining area at all. Cause there was footprints like going out to like outside. Like there was footprints, like black dirt footprints from like my Yeezys and where she had her bucket. I'm not sure if she had a bucket or she spilled something. There was like this massive, like not puddle, but like this patch of dirt. I thought it was a shadow of like the light coming through. And Peter's like, no, that's like actually dirty. And then I wiped it and it was like, basically one tile was like dark and like dirty. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I went into my bathroom to get my hairbrush out of the drawer and my drawers were literally filled with like this much water. We had to take everything out. Obviously I was taking photos because I wanted the manager to know. I'm not one to be like, oh, I want to call up the manager and like, whinge about it but like if there was expensive electrical stuff in there like my hair dryer that would have been broken 
Um, luckily there wasn't like I only just really had like random like skincare bits in there. But anyways, yeah, the drawers and underneath were all filled with water. So like that makes me think what the actual hell did she do? Like she must've just like poured water on my basin and stuff. Yeah, and that was an issue. And yeah, she didn't touch my laundry at all. Like didn't even like vacuum or mop in it, <laughs> which I found really weird. The only room that I told her not to touch was like my office and my beauty room just because like, I don't know. I just didn't really want her in there. Like it, it would have been chaos for her to go through anyway. So I was like, oh, don't worry about those two rooms. So the only room she had to do was my bedroom. Oh, and even the theater. It was just a quick vacuum because there's nothing in there except boxes. My room, um, the spare room, which has nothing in it either. Like it's just a bed. Um, that's it. Oh, the study, which also has nothing in it. And then obviously the rest of the house. So it was like basically one room that she did and she didn't even do the laundry. That kind of scarred me a bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie from even like looking into getting someone else. But I did find another company on Instagram called Simp. I'll leave their tag. Oh my God. She was firstly so lovely. Like so freaking nice. And she did such a good job. Like such a good job. Um, my house is literally spotless. The bathroom, she did every single room except for like those couple rooms that I was saying before because they don't really need, like it, it would have just been chaos if she walked in there to be honest. Like imagine her walking into my bloody um, office with bloody jewelry everywhere. I was like, don't worry about that on my makeup room. But I did actually clean up my makeup room while she was cleaning the rest of the house. Um, I mean, it doesn't really look like much, but there was so much on the floor. So I organized all of this for the giveaway. I also cleaned up my little makeup desk here. I also hung up some clothes that I just recently got from Boohoo. By the way, how cute is this denim jacket? Dead. So I'm doing a video, or actually no, a reel for them. But yeah, I just needed that extra bit of help this week because I've been super busy and the last thing I really wanted to do on top of everything else that I had to do was, you know, take a few hours out of a day and clean. I'm not really one to get someone to do tasks for me, as you probably already know. Like I literally don't have anyone really working for me, which is very odd, I guess. These days, you know, people online, on social media and stuff have like a team working for them, but I'm just a one one gal team. Well, not really, actually, technically. With the business, I do have someone to do my marketing and like EDMs and stuff. And I recently just found someone to do my content creation for Jazz Handmade, which is awesome. But yeah, it just takes some extra like stress off my back, I guess, so I can focus on doing some other things. Um, so yeah, that is just a little update on today. I honestly just feel so much more motivated when the house is all nice and tidy and clean. I did do a little like quick clean before she came and just like got rid of shit that was probably gonna be in her way if she was to clean. So yeah, everything's all like nice and decluttered. And yeah, it just, it's motivating for me when my space is clean. Also, I just got my own personalized jazz necklace. I am obsessed. So we do offer the personalized 9K necklaces on the website now. So you can actually choose your own font if you really want. Um, but this is like one of the fonts that you can choose, but I can basically just show my manufacturer a picture of any sort of font or any word um, and they can make it, but make sure you do email me if you do have like a font preference. Um, but yeah, they're available to order on the website and they take around four to six weeks. I am literally obsessed. This is going to be my new favorite necklace. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Peter to come home. I might go to the gym with him and do some steps because I have pretty much just been on my ass all day. I edited my makeup video, which will be up this week as well. Um, what else? Don't really have too much else to update you guys on, but I'm just really freaking happy that I have a nice clean house.
Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday today. I just finished the gym, as you saw. I don't think Haley filmed all the exercises, but we did upper body and my arms are cooked. Oh, I didn't even take my jumper off the whole session. It was still freezing. I don't get the gym's logic. Like when it's summer and it's boiling, the air con's not on, but then the air con's on when it's cold. Anyways, I'm gonna go post office. Um, someone's coming and looking at our fridge today because it started leaking. Not ideal. Um, yeah, we've had a few issues with our fridge actually. It's by the brand Electrolux, which is like a pretty good brand and it was quite expensive. Um, yeah, like condensation on like the ice part of like the inside of the fridge leaked. And then like the drawer broke, like the veggie drawer, like the a little piece of plastic from like the drawer, like snapped off. So we're going to need like a drawer replacement. And now, yeah, the bottom of the fridge is just like leaking water. So we're not sure what's going on. So someone's coming and looking at it today. Um... But yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. A busy day of like filming content today. I've got a clothing haul makeup tutorial. But yeah, that's all. Hey guys, I just got home. I just got some deliveries to show you. I got some stuff from Third Fix Collection. How cute are these little sets? The blue and then the matching cute shorts thank you so much talia and third fix um and then i didn't see this brand on instagram i think and i was like oh my god they are so cute and they match my pot that i painted there's some pillow like pillow slips pillow covers they're so cute look at them the brand is called hazar but look how cute they are thinking one out here and then one on my bed when I have my pink bed sheets on but yeah I'm pretty sure they were on sale as well like 60 bucks which is like pretty expensive for a pillowcase but it feels really nice so yeah they've got heaps of different colors as well so yeah pop them I'm gonna go and wash my face do my makeup and then I'm gonna film a reel I might even film a little BTS on how I do it that might be a bit interesting who knows but um yeah, I just want to show you guys what I got. I just finished and I look like oh shit I actually kind of like the neon um, blazer look I stole the inspo from Hailey Bieber I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram but um yeah I just finished my reel and it definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would take <sighs> um yeah I'm gonna go and edit that now because it's actually due today so I'm doing like a outfits I would wear to like the movies, brunch, out to dinner, date night or whatever. Um, but I actually had fun with it. It was pretty fun to film. It was just really time consuming because of the transitions that I did. But um, yeah, I'm sure you'll see that on my Instagram. I need to go pack up all of this stuff and then I need to pack some orders. I need to sort some returns out that I just went and picked up from the PO box before. And what else oh yeah i also need to fill my stacks haul so yeah i just thought i would give you guys a update and yeah i'll chat to you guys soon good morning everyone so i just got in a delivery from kitchen where kitchen warehouse no kitchenware.com.au because i saw that's actually a cute little handwritten note i saw mimi um which is joseph's girlfriend from jrf post about these and I really needed a spice drawer organizer because we keep our spices just in our first drawer now because it's 
I find it a little bit tacky having it like on the bench and it just looks a bit cluttered because that's where I, we usually had them. So I got these, they're on sale for like $7.50. I'm not sure if they're still on sale or whatever, but definitely jump on because they fit the drawers literally perfectly. I need to go through all of our spices because some of them are like really old and like kind of going hard, which is gross. But will four fit in here? Because that will be the ultimate satisfying test. I have a feeling it will because I bought four. Oh my God, and I didn't even measure. Nah, stop it. How good. So yeah, I want to organize that. I don't, I want to like get rid of all these. Like look, they're all hard, yuck. Um, yeah, maybe put all my vitamins on this side because I keep all of my vitamins, like my polyfem, my zinc, my sleeping tablet, but like my other... This can be my little like vitamin section. Bit cute. Polyfem, lymphotops. Okay, that's a problem. Fish oil can go in the um pantry. But yeah, how cool is that? I definitely get on it if you're looking to organize all of your spices and stuff in a drawer because yeah, that is seriously so satisfying. And then I just got a top up of my favorite protein. This is the one I love from Naked Harvest. This was all from Elite Sups. And then this is just Peter's part of the order. He likes this pre-workout. And then he takes these, um, I like greens capsules. He likes them. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna make oats this morning. So I'll use the rest of that. And then I'll pour one of these in. I also got this PR package from um, Before You Speak. They're adrenal decaf coffee. I might give that a go. I'm guessing you take that at night before bed. What does it have in it? Magnesium, decaffeinated coffee bean. It's mocha flavor. It's got zinc in it. Amazing. And they sent this as well, which is a revive eye pillow. Embrace the soothing weight of our aromatic blend as the revive eye pillow revitalizes your senses. Um, that's cool. I'll try that tonight. Um, so I just packed all the parcels that I needed to pack before Oz Post comes and collects it. But I've been spending the morning actually taking some photos of some comparisons that you guys asked for. So I thought I'd just mention on here. So these are the three new colors that Stacks are launching. So that's clay, birch, and bark, I'm pretty sure. And then these two colors down here is umber so that was from the previous seamless and then that's the originals best black tights raw umber so that's just for a comparison of the shades i feel like these two are very similar um, in real life as well um so yeah i guess it's just kind of like a seamless version of the best black tights how cute is my little pillow by the way um and i've also been preparing for the active wear giveaway that I'll probably post on my Instagram. It would have probably already been posted by now actually, but yeah, I just went through all of my active wear because I obviously have to clear some room for all of my new stuff. So there's a lot of stacks. What else is there? Cara Lee, Amen, Gymshark, Lorna Jane, another Lorna Jane. Majority stacks to be honest, but we do have some other brands as well and some of them have been worn, some of them haven't been worn and they've got the tags on them. So 
yeah, I've only probably worn them only a handful of times. They're mainly like all of the stack stuff. Like they sent me like two of these colors. So I've got lots of like brand new stack stuff and then just colors that I don't particularly wear right now. So yeah, that'll be on my Instagram for anyone in the world to enter. I just realized, by the way, this is from Boohoo from ages ago. Um, I just realized I haven't, oh, should I do this order really quick? Let's go do it because it is, wait, no, tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, I guess I do have one more day till the weekend, but I like to try and get as many orders as I can done before the postie comes. So let's quickly print it out. Let's pack it together. They literally should be here any second. Her name is Courtney. Oh my God. And she's done nine orders. She ordered the new Antonia necklace. So I'll grab that. This is the necklace. It is so beautiful. I love it. I wasn't wearing it for a while because every time I'd wear it, everyone would ask where it was from and it wasn't in stock. So I stopped wearing it. <laughs> So now I can wear it again because we've got them back in stock. These are water resistant. Like you can wear them underwater. They're anti-tarnish. I'll give her a little pouch. All the main necklaces are like they won't turn green or make your skin react. So yeah, love that necklace. It's actually inspired me to put my one back on actually. Love this. I'm going to give her a free little cleaning cloth. How easy was that to just pack? I just have to print out her label. I've gotten so quick at packing orders now from when I first started. Oh my God, I used to take ages. Okay. And this straight on. Done. Okay. Now I can go back and make my little Genora concoction, have my vitamins because I forgot to take them this morning. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces that I got from Gymshark. So if you guys don't already know, they have an Australian warehouse now and they're having a massive sale for up to 50% off this Tuesday, the 8th of June, but I'll leave the times and everything on the screen in the description box. So you guys don't miss it if you guys wanna grab some pieces, but I got heaps of cool like over the top jumpers and like cropped sort of tops like this that I don't have much of. And I can't believe I've never owned the like adapt camo and animal print tights because I now know the hype. I see so many people wearing them and saying how much they love them. They honestly are so flattering. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this combo that I've got on now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up. So for size reference, I got all the tops and crops in a medium. I just prefer when it's not like super tight. And then all the tights I got are in a small. Okay, so like I said before, this is the Adapt Animal Print. These also come in a camo as well, which I'll show you guys. So that's the back. They are seriously so flattering. They've got a little scrunch, like not too big of a scrunch on the back. And then this is a black, like in the same sort of material crop. It's got little thumb holes, which is cool. I find it really practical, like when I'm like lifting weights because it kind of like protects my hand. I do find this top really supportive without a bra, but I obviously would probably wear a crop underneath, but that's what the back looks like. There's like a little cutout, which is super cute. 
Okay, how cute is this color crop? So there's a couple of different variations of crops. I've got a white ruched one and they've got so many colors in them. They actually are quite supportive for a really thin strappy crop. But yeah, it's pretty much just a really basic crop that would literally go with anything. I love the color. It's like a really gorgeous brown mocha. Obviously I'm obsessed with brown at the moment. So got that one and then I'll show you guys the cropped hoodie as well. I love the color of it too. Okay, here's the cropped hoodie. I also got this in black and I also got them in mediums just so they're a little bit more relaxed and not so tight fitted. They're not like overly cropped. Like they probably just sit like where your tights end. So they're not like super cropped, which I like. I just feel like these would be perfect for those cold days. Obviously it's freezing here in Australia and I can't just go to the gym in a crop and tights anymore. So I need some jumpers like this. So yeah, this is the first color. Okay, this is the black one. So this one's a crew neck. It's not a hoodie, which I think I love way better. I love this so much. So it's a little bit thicker. Um, then the other tops that I'm about to show you guys because I got a couple of really thin breathable tops as well Just to go over the crops. But yeah, this is the black cropped Jumper and this one's a lot shorter than the one that I was just wearing again I got this one in a medium and I love it Okay, next long sleeve crop. This one is a lot thinner. Like the other one is like more of a jumper material. This one's a lot more thinner and more breathable. I also got this one in white, but I've just been looking for these kinds of tops just to go over the crops in winter because like I said, it is freezing. Um, and I like that this one isn't super tight. It's in a medium as well. So it just fits on my body really nice. Okay, and this is the last set. So this is the adapt camo. So I'm wearing the crop. So yeah, I would say that these crops are really, really high support because they got the thicker um, strap. And then this is what the back looks like. Let me just see. Yep. It's like a racer back. But yeah, I'm honestly obsessed with this print. I feel like it's the print that's like really flattering as well. But yeah, I will leave everything down below that you guys need to know if you are interested. But yeah, literally everything that I showed you guys, plus so much more, will be up to 50% off, which is super cool. Um, so yeah. By the way, PSA, these are bomb. Like, they actually taste really nice with just water. So I fill it up like three quarters of the way with water and then, and then the rest with a bit of almond milk. But like, look at that. Perfect if you're on keto as well and you're missing something like this. They also have the just the normal chocolate, like milk chocolate version, but this one is so good. I'm literally making myself one now. I also really rate these bars. They literally taste like Snickers, like a dark chocolate Snickers. So I'm gonna have one of these and one of those as my little afternoon snack. They're the macros, if you're wondering. They're quite calorie dense, like about 200 and something cows, but for a like healthy Snickers, so good. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, why am I crying? Um, I just have been going through a little bit recently. I'm sure you guys will find out about it um, soon. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just going to end this vlog here because yeah, just haven't been in the right like headspace to vlog and um, I don't think there will be a weekly vlog next week. Just wanna take some time off socials and just figure some stuff out. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I wasn't actually gonna film this bit and just like end it where it last ended, which I can't even remember what I last filmed. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that there won't be a vlog next week, but um, I'm sure you guys will understand why. Thank you so much for all of the love always, and I will see you very soon.